On Thursday, the Earth reached aphelion, its greatest distance from the sun. By the time the Earth reaches its closest point next January, scientists believe the sun could be experiencing what is known as solar maximum, although the sun will still be some 91 million miles away. But the peak in solar activity could affect us here on Earth. Here to tell us what this all means is Derek Pitts. He's chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute. Derek, it's good to have you back. What happens to the sun during a solar maximum? Well, John, the sun uh, really starts to show us what its life is like as an active star. The sun is a ball of very hot gas, about 27 million degrees at the core, about 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. And because of the turmoil that goes on inside the sun, very, very intense magnetic fields are formed. And what happens is those magnetic fields build up. And on the surface of the sun during maximum, we see the expression of those magnetic fields releasing energy. And as they do that, we see sunspots, large sunspots, many sunspots, an increase in sunspots. We see solar flares. We see solar prominences. And there are also what are called uh, 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 large ex explosions or eruptions of plasma off the surface of the sun called coronal mass ejections. And uh, all of these are the result of these intense mag magnetic fields on the sun. And how often does a solar uh, maximum occur? And there's some, um, was the prediction about when it would happen off? And does that mean something significant? Well, we've actually been able to keep track of how often the sun reaches maximum since about 1755. That's when the first solar maximum was first observed. And these maxima come around about every 11 years. Now, why it's 11 years, we actually don't understand why the sun's cycle of maximum, reaching maximums, is every 11 years. Now, for prediction, it turns out that this year, the solar maximum seems to be coming earlier and with greater intensity, with more spots than we thought. So it looks like the maximum is going to arrive earlier than we expected it to arrive. And now the question everybody's been waiting me to ask, which is, what does this mean for us? Well, what it actually means for us is that the blast of electromagnetic particles that comes out of the sun during what are called these coronal mass ejections, as they fall into the Earth's magnetic field, what happens is these can call, cause electrical surges here on the planet Earth. They can interrupt satellite communications. They can interrupt radio communications. They can cause power blackouts by causing surges in power transmission lines. And all of these things, of course, can disrupt you know, what we're doing here on planet Earth. So whenever there's a maximum, a solar maximum, we're concerned about this, but especially in this case, where we think the maximum is gonna be so much more intense than previous maxima have been, we're really thinking about what that means for us going forward. And just very quickly, is there anything we can do to prepare other than know it's coming? <laughs> actually, we can. We can actually reposition our satellites in orbit to minimize the amount of effect that has had on them. We can monitor our electrical transmission systems to see when these uh, surges may cause some problem. We can even improve our ability to predict when we're going to have these great surges of electromagnetic particles out of the sun so that we can better prepare our electrical systems here on the planet to be able to withstand these. Derek Pitts, chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute. Thank you so much, Derek. Always a pleasure. Thanks, John.